Hi guys, it's Katie from Created by Katie, and today I am starting a video series called Not Your Everyday Card Series, and these are going to be cards that are a little bit more than just a basic fold, and they are going to just show a little bit more. A lot of my friends and family love getting the cards that I made, and um, since I love sharing them with them, I wanted to do something just a little bit more for each of those cards that I send just something special for them to look forward to. So today's card is going to be an easel card. And one of the things that I love about easel cards is that they can be popped up so that they can be displayed. So these are the two cards that we're going to be making today. This one here that I'm pop popping up is just a basic easel card. You can pop it up and it can be displayed. Or this is the other card that we're going to be making. Again, it can be popped up. However, the note that you wrote to your friend is hidden down below, so no one will see that, yet they can still display the card. So starting with an 8.5 by 11 sheet of white cardstock, you are going to want to cut this the vertical way. This is the only way that this will work properly. So if you cut it the vertical way, this gives you two card bases that are A2 size. We're cutting them at four and a quarter inches right down the middle. And then we are going to score them. And I've marked out my places to score. Halfway is five and a half inches. And this is the score line that you would make if you were making a regular A2 size card. And then halfway between that and the end is four no, excuse me, two and three quarter inches. And that's where we're going to score again. And this gives us the base for our easel card. So I'm going to fold this in half, and then I'm going to fold this one inside. And there you go. You have your base. Now you just need to decorate. And at this point, you can do almost anything to this card to make it fun. However, we are going to then take our four inch by four and a quarter inch piece of colored cardstock. I picked this turquoise color because it matches the card that I'm making. This can be any color. You can go with white to uh, match the card base. And then we are scoring it at a half an inch on each side. This gives us a couple little flaps on each side of the cardstock. And you just need to kind of bend those just a little bit just to give it enough of a little um, flip at the end. For the basic easel card, I'm using the My Favorite Things Blueprints Dynamics number 13, and I've created a card front. Very simple. Like I said, you can do anything. Any of your cards can become easel cards. But I've die cut this little strip of cardstock and stamped that fun little sentiment on there. And then put a couple of jewels at the end. So when you're displaying your easel card, it can sit either on the jewels or the card stuck itself. will help it keep it popped up. And I like that fun little sentiment. It's just kind of cute. Not sent from my phone. <laughs> and there is a fun and simple easel card. However, like I said, if you write a note to your friends and they display it, everyone can read it. So we're going to hide that with this card. So I have my card base here folded and scored like we did before. And again, I created this card front with the Blueprints 13 Dynamics from My Favorite Things. And the stamp set that I'm using is My Favorite Things Friend Request. And I thought that the phone paper was kind of cute to go with that. And I'm going to adhere this card front to the front of my easel card. Now you need to remember that you only want the bottom part adhered. So I'm kind of eyeballing it. You could mark it off if you wanted to or measure it, whatever works for you. I just eyeballed it and applied adhesive to just the bottom part of my card front there and lined it up like I would a normal card. However, the top part is not adhered. So there is my card front, and it's going to work perfectly for an easel card. Now, taking our smaller 
piece of cardstock that we scored. We are going to just add adhesive to the bottom little lip there, that's all. And then line it up with the bottom of the white cardstock. And you will see that it can be flipped over. So now you can write your note to your friend. You can even write a little bit on this cardstock, make a longer note if you want it to. You have more room to write now. But it's also going to remain hidden. Now, I left the bottom part of this little flag unattached so that I could slip that little part underneath there. So now my card can be set up and displayed. You can decorate the bottom part there of the card front, add to it however you want. Um, depending on how you decorated your card front, you could even leave the bottom portion of that card front unattached and slide that underneath there. However, I just kind of wanted it to go under the flap of the pattern paper. It's totally up to you. doesn't matter. So that is a fun little addition to every card. Um, this is totally mailable. Fold it up and put it in an envelope and it's ready to go. And when your family or friends pick this card up, they can display it and no one will see the notes that you wrote to them. I did add a little bit more of a sentiment there on the front of it. And that is it for my two cards. And I hope to see you guys back here next week for the second card in my series, Not Your Everyday Cards. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Have a great day.